Hey guys, it's Caitlin from Caitlin and Jazz Books and today I'm going to be filming what I got for Christmas, what books I got for Christmas 2016. Sorry it's a bit late, in my... When's this going up? Um, late January or early February. So, it's a bit late and there's going to be another 2016 video coming up soon so I apologise for that but um, I got a comment asking for these videos so I thought that I'd do them Anyway, no matter that we know we're a bit into the year, so yeah, I'll just get on. <laughs> just a bit of like a chatty thing at the beginning. Firstly, ignore my hair, it's a frizz bomb. This is the downside of having hair that like when you wash it, it sort of half waves. I don't understand it, but it's out here and it rained earlier when I was walking home from school. And then the second thing is, it's weird. I'm like in the middle of my mocks, so I say I'm in the middle of my mocks. I've done the first one today, which was English Literature, which I think went alright. Hopefully because English is what I want to do for A-level, so I want to like do alright in the mocks, so I feel more confident with the actual GCSE. Anyway, um, and I've already read more this month than I read last month, and last month I didn't have any mocks. I don't understand it either. If I start off with the books that I bought myself through vouchers, I only got one voucher this year, which is unusual because I usually get lots of vouchers, but it was £12, which was perfect because I bought Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Rhys Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Weisman with it. So I only actually had to pay a pound because this is £12.99, and this is the bind up of the novellas which are out on Kindle. And I've read five of them on the Kindle, and then I'm Currently reading the second from last, which is not that one, Born to Endless Night. And um it's really good, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say much about it because I'm just gonna like go quick in this video. But this is what I bought with my vouchers. The next uh book well, okay, I'll just leave it. The next couple books I got are actually a series and my mum got them for me. Oh, they're all in the wrong order. Oh well. She got me the selection series by Kira Cass. Let's see if I can figure out this order. So it is the selection. Is this the next one? The elite, I think. Then the one. Then which one's next? The air and the crown. Is that the right order? I don't know. They all fell over. But my mum got me these ones. And I'm very excited because I think I mentioned in another video with popular books that I've not read yet, these were one of them. And I'm thinking of marathoning this series, like just going through them all, because they're all fairly small. And they do really excite me, the fact that I have them now. And she got them from like this catalogue. They do such good prices. Basically, it's like this book catalogue where you can get series of books for really, really cheap. So, one of the ones which I found the other day was The Hunger Games. You could get all three books for five pounds, saving like yourself like 28 pounds, I think it was. So this was probably fairly cheap off of that catalogue, but I'm so excited for these. The next book was also from my mother, <laughs> mother anyway, and it is Cinder by Marissa Mayer, which I asked for. Wait, did I get the last author right? Yeah, I did. I'm proud of myself. Which I asked for this, and I'm super excited to read this. I also gave it to my friend, and I think my mum ordered it when I ordered that one, because when the package came, she was like, don't open it. And I was like, hmm, okay. So I kind of had a hunch that I was getting this, but I'm super excited because I've heard absolutely amazing things about this series. And I believe this one is a loose retelling of Cinderella, hence why it's called Cinder. And all of the Lunar Chronicles books are loose retellings of fairy tales, which really excites me because I'm absolutely obsessed with fairy tales and Disney and all that jazz, so this I'm much excited for. The next book is again from my mum, and I got this one in my stocking, and it is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, which I asked for because I saw Victoria Schwab talking at Yauk, and I was gonna buy her book then, I just didn't have enough money basically and I was going to buy it then and get it signed and it was going to be great but I didn't have enough money and I heard her talking about this and I feel like because I heard her talking about it it just made me want it even more because obviously the best person to describe a book is the person who wrote it and she did a good job and this is exciting me basically a small gist of it is that there's four different Londons and the main character like moves between the Londons or something like that and I really like the fact that it's set in London because not many books are set in Britain except for Harry Potter and Infernal Devices, like big ones, and this one sounds really good so I'm very excited. 
which I'm saying a lot in this video, but I am because, you know, Christmas. Mm. The next book was given to me by my friend, and that is Monsters by Emerald Fennel, I think that's how you say it, which actually sounds so good. Basically, it's about, I'll read the back to you because I can't describe it because it's one of these blurbs and it doesn't tell you much. It says, two children you would never want to meet. The beach, the sea, a body, and then another. A girl, a boy, and a summer holiday unlike any other. A twisted tale of two friends with an unsavoury interest in murder. And then at the front it says, sometimes murder is child's play. And I'm super excited to read this. I'm planning on reading this this month because it sounds really good. And also, I like the fact that the writing's big because it means it won't take me too long to read. <laughs> and then the final book that I got for Christmas was from my grandma and that is Girl Online Going Solo by Zoe Sugg. Um, I thought she was going to finish this series at Girl Online on tour, but she carried it on because she left on the biggest cliffhanger ever, which I don't see. But you know, I've read the other two, so I want to see how the series finishes. I think this is the last one, but the cover's really nice, and my gran always gets me Girl Online. She got me the first one, the second one, and the third one, all for Christmases. So it's like a little tradition thing, so I basically I know what she's going to get me, and it's, I like it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for this, and also this is really pretty. I don't know, this cover out of all of them is probably my favourite. Even though I don't really like the yellow, but I really like the yellow. This is orange. I don't really like the orange, but I really like the purple. So, yeah. Straight off topic a bit there. But Girl Online, going solo. <laughs> I'm really good with book titles, as you can tell. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, um, The next video I will do will be another video about 2016. So... Apologies, but I hope you like this like mini haul Christmas haul thing and Thanks for watching leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to and Jasmine will see you next time or I'll see you next time or we'll both see you next time. I don't know. Bye guys